This is a video to accompany the uh, interactive whiteboard file uh, called uh, Year 3 Money. In fact, it starts with Year 2 and goes into Year 3. Um, the file is a free download from iteachwell.com.au. Um, this uh, video tutorial will um, accompany the, uh, the file and we'll just talk through some of the pages. Um, on page one is the scope and sequence statements for mathematics, money and financial mathematics, um, year two and year three. So we'll be go going from year two and into year three um, sort of level. Um, I'm going to turn the page. I thought to begin with, it's a matter of identifying the um, the different coins. So the coins are on display there, and it'll be a matter of asking the children to uh, match up the uh, coins with the amounts. So the cents, the twenty cents, for example. Can you show me twenty cents? And it'll be a matter of the children selecting the correct coin and dragging the coins up. Maybe you want them to do it more than once, so you get a little collection in each bag. Uh, just familiarising with the uh, the different coins, what the size of the coins is. Um, there we are, that's a two dollar coin. Similar on the next page. So we're still using the play button down here because we're moving uh, these images around. So 50 cents, and we'll pop in 10 cents there. And on the right here, I thought we'd actually differentiate between cents and dollars. So there's your dollar coins. And of course, you can have as many as you like. And the cents coins come into here. So you can have one of each. A uh, bit of discussion about what the, what the coins actually look like, the colour of them, the markings, the shape. There we go. All right, so that the children are familiar with the uh, the names of the different coins. Um, the next thing to do would be to uh, think about putting the coins in order of value. Um, I see this file as uh, running alongside uh, practical classroom work. So, if you have uh, collections of coins or replica coins in the class, the children can be doing these kinds of activities um, practically at their tables or. Uh, in groups. Um, this is great reinforcement. You could also have a group working on this um, and maybe just leave it for them to see if they can put them in order first. Uh, the great thing is that you can have a go if you make a mistake. It doesn't matter because we can always rearrange them afterwards. So in which case I'll take the 20 out there out of there and we'll replace that with a 10. All right, so a lot of discussion there on, on the value and putting the 20 in, the 50 in and also allowing the children to match up these words and numbers so you get the 20 cents, 10 cents so they're already able to identify the uh, numerical value and uh, the written word as well. Um, coin sort, great way to uh, again reinforce the different coins. Um, thing you could talk about sort of piggy banks and uh, coin collections and have a whole bunch of coins and then get the children to sort them out uh, and just let's put them into their boxes here. Now that can be done as a practical activity, but you can also do it on the interactive whiteboard here. Great reinforcement. Uh, good to have individuals or groups perhaps using the board for this one. Then the next stage would be looking at uh, dollars and cents together and how to write that. So I've got an example here, $1.50, and that's written with the dollar sign. So we've introduced the dollar sign. And one and the decimal point, which even if you're not explaining the decimal point, you can introduce the idea of having the decimal point there. Um, let's do an example over here. So let's put say two dollars and forty cents, and then you can go down to the pen, sorry, the typing tools, 
and we can type that in. So we've got two, sorry, two and forty, and we're going to write it here as two, two dollars forty. And there's a chance there to do lots of different um, examples. If you go to the Easy Teach menu here, you can then go to Reset Page. So we can have have another go. Um, and again, very good for groups. Uh, if you had a, an extra adult in the class or an education assistant, they could work with a group there. Um, and the next page has a similar activity. Um, now we're actually counting money, so we've got to do a bit of addition. Very good maths with money. Um, excellent way to reinforce, especially counting in tens and fives. So how much money in each box? Um, these coins can be moved, so just count them out. There's 50 and there's 20. So 50 and 20. I've got one dollar and 20. And here 10 and a five and a five. Um, you've got more coins here, so if you wanted to do more examples, you can. More piggy banks here. Um, and a in, little investigation, so um, different ways of making the uh, amounts. So as you can see, 40 cents has been made up with 10 lots of 4, or 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. 60, well, there's open to suggestions here. You could do a 20 and a 20, and a 10, and a 10, there's all sorts of different ways, and that might be a nice activity to do. You know, how many different ways can you use the cent coins to make, say 60 cents or 70 cents? Um, notice these dollars here, so to make the dollars, some children may be able to use the dollars, some may be at the stage where they can combine the two, so you might have um, something like this, two, and two, and two, and then a one, and then maybe two fifties. So leaving it open-ended gives an opportunity for the more able children to show what they show what they know, show how they can use uh, dollars and cents. Um, Similar here, putting the correct money into the uh, shopping purses, the coins, well, a mixture then of dollars and cents, and then introducing the, uh, the, the notes as well. So showing the notes, showing the numerical value, and showing the word. So let's just match these up. So we've got five dollars here showing. That says five dollars. That says ten dollars. That's a five dollar note. That actually says five dollars and ten. So we can put those together. So different ways of representing the same thing. But again, really good for familiarity, um, recognizing not only the uh, the coin but the note as well and the and the numbers. Now, the next uh, few pages are um, fairly open-ended um, insofar as having a go at just putting coins out and counting them up. You know, almost like how much change have you got in your pocket? All right, let's put some coins up. So click and drag the coins. All right, I've got you know, a few of those. I've got a few of these. Something like that. Okay, let's, how much have you got? Right. Or you could say, can you show me? So you could give them an amount, say, can you show me $5.40? And get the children to, um, to drag the coins out. Um, this will probably uh, give you a good indication of who understands dollars and cents by this stage um, as to how they uh, make up the amount, which coins they choose. And then finally, uh, a few shopping items. So actually paying for for uh, things like toys and stationery. Um, 
giving the correct amount at the moment. So we're not really moving on into change yet from $5 and $10, we'll stick to the right amount. Um, now here I've put the, uh, the notes there because you've got a, a you may want to pay with um, say a $10 and a $5 here. I want to pay with a five and then two two. So this again, it's opportunities to use the notes, the cents, and the dollars. Okay, and then choosing items of their own. So if they went to the um, multimedia library, they could uh, search for say um, toys, toy, and they could have a browse through might look for lollies, uh, could be stationary and uh, put a price on it. All right, so it's a bit like let's go shopping. Maybe even food would be a good one to do a shopping page. Uh, just finally, all of these uh, symbols here, the coins and the notes have been copy cloned. So if, if I've taken them from the image library and if you select them I can select all of them at the same time. Notice the lock is on there, so if I click on the menu and go to lock, you can see that they've all been selected and they're all set to lock and clone. Locking and cloning is a really excellent tool. Okay, so the next file to look out for will then move on to actually uh, buying items and giving um, more money than is needed and calculating change as well as reinforcing some of the um, concepts that we've been through in this file. And there we go, so that's year two uh, money going into year three.